Hello everyone, how are you? We're doing two months in the Gospel of Mark. This is the second month and day 10 and it's Mark 11, 1 to 11. From this time on in Mark, Jesus is in Jerusalem and heading towards the cross and resurrection. So we're coming up to that week that's going to change the world. Are you ready? Here we go. Mark 11, verse 1. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany and the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying, Go into the village ahead of you. Just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Tell them the Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. And as they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying the colt? They answered, uh, as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks in the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. This is a moment Jesus could have caused a revolution in Israel. The people were now behind him, the common people. He had done a miracle, a number of miracles close by. He had raised Lazarus from the dead. People were seeing him now as great teacher, but maybe the Messiah, Hosanna, all these things. Jesus was now coming to Jerusalem. And if he had said, let's attack the Romans, the people would have done it. It could have been a revolution, but Jesus went to the temple because his kingdom is a kingdom of heaven. And we need to understand this, that we, although we live in a world where there's lots of things going wrong, we need to keep our hearts uh, firmly in the kingdom of God, in the peace of God, in the love of God. And I, I love the fact that Jesus was so secure, he knew who he was and what he was supposed to do, even when people have big expectations of him. You know what, in life, people are going to have expectations of you, but what one thing you need to do is follow the will of God for your life. What is God saying to you to do? Why don't you pray about that, follow through on that. That is what God is touching right now. Let me pray. Lord, today I pray I would be secure enough and know your word and know your Holy Spirit power to follow through what I must do today, what the tasks you've given me, the job you've given me, I will do it with a spirit of peace. Some things will be strong that I do, but I pray I'll do it with a spirit of wisdom and revelation that you are with me, that you are with us today in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm just going to say, Lord, let me do your will for me today. Let me do your will for me today. Why don't you pray about that? What is God's will for you to do today. Do that and you will have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.